Hi friends, today we will discuss about broken period interest BPI. What is BPI? Interest before the actual EMI start date is broken period interest. Dates between disbursement date and first installment date is your BPI, broken period interest. So in my next slide, clearly I will tell you what is BPI. So if the days between actual disbursement date and your first installment date is more than 31 days, then BPI is involved or BPI will be come into the picture. Otherwise, there won't be any BPI. So I'll give you an example in my next screen and I'll explain you what is BPI. So you are taken a loan and loan has processed and loan has uh, process is completed and they have dispersed means amount here, amount has created to your account. So disbursement date is 20th June. So when a loan taken from a bank, bank always ask you. So in which date every month you have to pay your EMI. So you say 10th. So 20th June you have taken a loan. First payment will be 10th July 2020. See EMI you said monthly. Monthly means you need 30 days minimum gap. If you take disbursement date minus first payment date, it is less than 30 days. So 10th July, you can't fix it as your EMI date, first EMI date, first payment date. So what will happen? The 10th July will be moved to 10th August. So now what? Now disbursement date is 20, 20th June and monthly payment date is 10th. Your first payment date is 10th August. But if you compare days between 20th June and 10th August, this is more than 30 days. So actual EMI is 10th July to 10th August. So here BPI is interest between 20th June to 10th July is your broken period interest and 10th July to 10th 10th August is your regular EMI. So these whatever days between uh, 20th June and uh, 10th June, this is called broken period interest. This broken period interest can be collected from uh, customer in three ways. One is like you can ask for bank, can ask customer for a separate check for this broken period interest or you can add this broken period interest into the, your first EMI. So your first EMI will be more and your remaining emails will be same. Third will be you can collect this broken period interest from customer first payment. Means whenever you receive money from customer first will adjust the broken period interest then your regular EMI. Thank you friends.